Now, you guys have probably been wondering what items you can obtain from the trading hub if, like me, you are too lazy to go candy grinding. I have been trying to obtain a bunch of the items that are candy items from this update that I don't already have or previous updates that I haven't already got without having to actually candy grind because I'm too lazy. Now, today, I plan to trade for the steampunk set and we're going to find out what it's going to cost me. Hello one of our little beans, my name is B and welcome back to my channel. Before we get started with today's video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and click that bell. And of course, don't forget to use stack of B when buying Robux or Premium. Now you may be wondering why Iris is here. Hi Iris, by the way, your creepy horns are skin colored and that kind of freaks me out, by the way. Sorry, what freaks you out? Your horns are skin colored. Yeah. So it makes it look like they're part of your skin and not made of like burn, which is freaky. I mean... I was considering darkening them a bit, but wasn't sure because they really should be covered in skin and it doesn't need to be darker. Why would they be covered in skin? I mean, that's how it works with, for example, the ear. This freaks me out a lot, just so you know. Don't like it. Anyways, it's a guys. kind of skin, of course, but it's still skin. I don't like it. Basically, I have been talking to various people because I wanted to buy the steampunk sets because I'm too lazy to grind candy for it. And every single one of those people so far has quoted me around the same price, about 400,000 diamonds. Now I decided that that was acceptable and I would do that trade. But Iris offered me it for 350,000 diamonds. And I thought, well, why would I not save 50,000 diamonds? So I'm doing the trade with Iris, but I still thought I would share with you guys what I traded for it and what the, what the community is on average <laughs> charging for the set. Let's head on over to the trading hub. Okay, here we are in the trading hub, you guys. Here's my badge for you, Iris. Enjoy. Here you go, noob. Now you can have an extra oh, badge Oh, finally. <laughs> After how many years? It's been like 24 years since the last time. Um, sorry. It's been 24 years. I've been trying to get your badge for 24 years. And you you tried so hard on that that you messed it up so bad. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I can't, I can't click on you. I, f I literally can't. Um, it's not showing the option to click I, on you. I think we have to move a bit further oh, away from Okay, the I can click on you now. Okay, here we go, you guys. So... Yeah. The Steampunk set is going to cost a lot in trading, simply because obviously it's an expensive set to buy if you want to buy it with the candies. So obviously, to buy my type of Steampunk set, and you're the one that's giving me it. So basically, it's going to be quite expensive. Most people right now on Trader, we are asking for around 400 to 450,000 diamonds, a pretty normal price. But Iris is offering the set, which is the skirt, the bodice, and the belt for 350,000 instead, which to me... Why would I not just take the extra 50,000 diamonds for myself? You know, of course I would. That makes most sense to me personally. So I'm going to accept the trade from Iris for this one because, well, it just seems a little bit more reasonable and a little bit less ridiculous to me. So why would I not? So Iris is obviously a queen at grinding candy. So Iris, how many candies do you have right now? How many candy I have right now? I have nearly 10,000. And you bought the full set. What other items do you need? Um, uh, there's a few items from past years I want, including the mask. The but you have actually obtained most of them, mask. right? Yeah, you gave some. Of yeah, and you're also candy. really good at grinding candy. You grind it really fast. But I still need like the bouquet and other items I don't currently have. I see, I see. So I've been watching other YouTubers' videos talking about what they've been doing for trades for like the Halos and things like that. The Steampunk set, I haven't seen many people doing that. The people I have seen doing trades have been trading it for quite a lot. Iris, accept the trade. You know, I should have asked you for the Halo. <laughs> You're not having the Halo. It's not happening. No. I would just grind the candy myself. Are you going to accept the trade? Jeez. I just did. Oh my goodness, I was in that screen now for I'm so long. Weird. Now I'm poor. Oh yeah. Oh no, I forgot. Because you traded it, you don't have the outfit. Are you sure you want to trade it? Yeah. Okay, good, because you're That's not having okay. it back. All right, guys, let's put it on. So we'll take off the pieces that I'm wearing right now. And then we'll go into the theme. We'll go steampunk set. I don't know if I'll really use the sword. I don't, I don't really see any reason to use it. Like, it's nice, but like, do I want it? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Let me go ahead and put these pieces on. And I want to do this toggle. I like that one. Um, I just want to change the colour of the like vest going round and make it like a grey colour. And there. Okay. That is really nice, I have to say. They've done a really good job with that. And pop the skirt on. And again, if I oops, if I reuse the colours again. There we go. And then I want to use like a bigger toggle. Now it doesn't come with legs, right? No. Have to Wait, are all the skirts split front? There's none that's like fully all the way around. 
Yeah, no, they're all a bit fun. Oh, I kind of like having a skirt that like has a middle piece. Okay, but I've got an idea actually. If we put these legs on and we use the colours again. Let me say, there is a reason why I decided to use legs and have a more like practical shorts option. Okay, so can you... Hang on guys, I've got an idea. If I toggle these to like the pants and then... My gosh, I am literally breaking everything right now. Please bear with me guys. Okay, it's very bright in white. So I probably would change the colours, but okay, I actually really like that. That actually looks really nice. Okay, so this new set is really beautiful, you guys. They are obviously very impressive. The devs have done a great job creating it. Obviously, the wings that go along with it, you can win inside of the cave or at the end of the maze when you complete it, which are really, really cool looking as well. I think I look really good in this set. I'm really vibing with it. Yeah. I'm going to save this outfit real quick. I just want to change my face to a different one by Kitzilla, but none of my usual face is really good with this, which is kind of a shame because I really like the freckles faces by Kitzilla. I wonder if my B face, even though it's green, will still Maybe that one. That's cute. I like that. Yeah, okay. I like that. Let me save this. Steam Punk. Now, loads of people in Royal High love to make steampunk outfits, by the way. I see them all the time. So the fact that now you can do it with literal steampunk items provided in the game, I think people are going to love that. I love the new halo along with this, the new hairstyles as well. Just this whole thing, I think, just looks absolutely beautiful. I'm so excited you guys finally have this. So thank you, Iris. And good luck to all no of problem. you with your trades too. Thanks for watching, you guys. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that bell. We'll see you next time. And if you guys lots little beans. And make sure you go follow Iris on Twitch, by the way. I'll leave a link down below. Bye.